Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today is a very special day. This is something that you guys have been waiting for. Not too long, but a lot of you guys have been commenting. So if you missed the whole series, basically we dug a pond, we filled a pond. Now it's time to stock the pond. I'll show you guys the pond right here. So this is the backyard pond that we dug uh, right here. And we need to, well, we need a, that thing's been broken. We need to fix that. But it sent Millie, oh, what are you doing? You just, look, you just dirtied it up. What are you doing, buddy? This is the pond. It's 12 by 12. The deep, what? You trying to go swimming? She's going in. Cannonball. Oh, she's, she's just, oh, no, she's she's eating water bugs. Classic. Anyway, so it's 12 by 12, and then the deepest spot's about three and a half to four feet deep. Um, We've got one step that's like one foot deep, two feet deep, and then it goes down into the pool. So it's not huge. We don't want to put a ton of fish in here. We're thinking we want to do bass and bluegill first and kind of just see how that goes. Um, So we're thinking maybe like three or four bass and three or four big bluegills. Um, we want some good size ones. The idea of this would be to basically put them in here, train them to feed them, and try to grow them as big as we possibly can. And then maybe like before winter, if we want to put them in the big pond, we can basically use this as like a holding tank and a grow tank to then take the fish from here and go put them in the pond in the backyard but the one thing we have not done yet is we have, we have not tested the water to see if it's safe for fish um so we got this test kit and we've got some like chemicals basically to try to balance everything out so we're gonna dig right into that we're gonna get everything ready to rock and roll before we go fishing to then stock the fish in here um just to make sure we don't put them in here and then then they die what do you got there daddy here's the I was waiting for the explanation. This is a silent film. All right, so this thing basically, it's got a test wide range of pH, ammonia, nitrite, phosphate. Probably all the things to make sure that you don't kill your fish. So uh, first thing we got to do, let's read some instructions here. Actually, I don't really want to read instructions. What, how, do you know how, to, you know how this works? Yeah, you I took ecology. Oh, really? Yeah, we did this stuff. Really? Yeah. Well, that's impressive. I didn't. You so. can do pH first. Okay, so pH. I need pond water. So you got to fill that up with pond water first. Five milliliters. Okay, so let's go get five milliliters of the pond water. We're going to test the pH here and see how this goes. Millie's helping you out. Millie, you're not helping, buddy. What are you doing? You want to test the pH? It's like, I'll drink the water. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. All right. Perfect. Looks like looks like five milliliters. Okay, so how many drops? I think it's five. Like five, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Don't mess this up. You I'll got this. Not. I believe in you. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Count now what? And you turn it upside down. Okay. Don't like touch the ends, it said. Okay. What are we doing here? Just waiting. I don't oh. know. How long you have to shake it or you, you don't shake it? I don't know. It's read. Well, I, didn't get so that I, thought you took, I thought you took ecology. Yeah, I don't remember. You, you only made it? it through the first lesson. What's a good pH? Is nine, is high good or? I have no clue, honestly. We just got to make sure we don't fry these fish, essentially. Is a high pH good or is a low pH good? What's. You want. What do you want? Says, What's a good pH? Oh, a pH of 7.0 is considered ideal for plants and fish in the pond. So we're. What we're, we're 7.5. Oh, that's not that yeah, bad. That's not bad. It just says you don't want to be above 8. Is that what it says? At an acceptable 6.8 to 8.2. Okay. Yeah, so don't All be right, above so, 8.2 so or good. below 6. So, so yeah, we're right in the middle. We're just going to shake that up here. Okay, so then, I mean, I don't know. It's pretty close. I think it's like around 8, isn't it? I think it's it's, like or do you think it's 9? 5 and 8. Okay, hold, hold it up. Hold it up to the light. I, mean, it's I like, would say it's right about it's eight. Like yeah. But we do have some treatment, so maybe that'll help it. Okay, so the pH is a little bit on the high side. Uh, let's. What's the next thing we gotta test? Some ammonia or yeah. nitrate or something? Ammonia. Let's, let's test. Let's test some ammonia. Bill, not the science guy, would be proud of us at this moment. Did you get five milliliters? You killed it. Shoo! Right there. Okay, this one you right. shake. You do shake this yes. one. Okay. All right. So aggressively. How, ooh. That one's turning more blue now. You gonna be an aggressive shaker? For us, okay. Oh, it says take aggressively then, on this. No, no, not that one. The other, this no. one. Yeah, and then this one, one yeah, you gotta yeah, wait yeah, five yeah. minutes for it to get. Like, oh, dry. wait five minutes. Okay. Yeah. What about this one? You have to wait any. Nope. This? No. Nope. Okay. okay. Eight drops of that. Eight drops. All right, here we go. One, oh, no. dose, two, trace, three. macho. I don't know more. What are we watching, Dora? <laughs> Seven, eight. Oh, sure. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait. We got eight more of this other bottle. Oh, okay. Eight of the. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. okay. Now shake give that it up. Good, give it a good shake. Yeah. Vigorously yeah. shake it. And we wait five minutes. What's vigorously mean? Do not put your finger over <laughs> oh the end. Do not put your finger over the end. Don't put your finger over the end, which is like exactly that. what you're doing. Yeah. What, did he, what did he say? I wasn't even listening. He asked what vigorously <laughs> meant. <laughs> it's a little early. <laughs> Alright, what's the next step since we gotta wait like five minutes? Uh, nitrate? Yeah. Or, okay, nitrate. So what's the, what's the trend on nitrate? So we need five milliliters of that? Yeah. All right, hooking. Are you on five milliliter duty yeah. again? You got this. I believe in you. All right. So what's the well, next one's nitrate? Yeah. And it's two drops. Five. Five drops. Three, four, five. Boom. Oh, we got a six-one rip. No. 
It's all right. Just, just go but for it. Can, just give her, give her hell. What's the, what's the shake, st- shake well? This one said it was a little. It was a little over over the line. So, so you're, you're, you're good, good yeah. then. Yeah, it's perfect. Uh, Millie, uh, you killing uh, it over there? On. Last but not least, phosphate. phosphate. Wow, I, I really should have okay. taken chemistry class. You never did. Do I never took chemistry. Can you believe that? Of all of the years of schooling that I went through, never once oh, took a single. You act like you went through a lot. I never took chemistry in high school. Nope, never took physics. Never took physics. What science class did you take? Astronomy. Did nope, never took one? astronomy. No, I took like bio. I took science? biology. I, so okay, so here's how it works. Did you have a high school diploma? No. Barely. So <laughs> freshman year, there was a there was a class called physical science in action, which is chemistry oh. and, and and physics mixed, but it's for like it, like it's an easy dummies. class basically. It's for dummies. So I took that, and then my sophomore year I took biology, and then your junior year you're supposed to take chemistry or like something like astronomy yeah, or something. Physics or but like chemistry. they like renamed physical science in action to like something else, but it's the exact same class. And for some reason they let me enroll in it, and it counted for my chemistry. And so like I had all the homework done for the entire year and I did nothing yeah. and then in my senior year I just didn't even go to class and I got it and that was it <laughs> so just ripping lips all senior that, year. I, I, yeah I just don't do this kids but yes I, I definitely like ditch class and went fishing <laughs> how, a, how a decent amount. degrees do we have right here zero killed it yep. you, you guys we're, we're a bunch of scholars yeah. out here mm-hmm. all right anyways I don't promote dropping out of college but listen do we're doing all right all right, all right with right. the next one phosphate, phosphate. So, so yeah so hold it vertically you know which way that is yep. Four, five, six. Six. Okay. Oh, cap. cap it and shake it vigorously, and then add the other one. Oh, so ooh, just about messed up. Yeah. So yeah. cap it, Glad shake it vigorously. Yeah. Five seconds. God, you are a vigor. You're a vi- you're a vigorous shaker. Oh my God. You're, you're spraying acid. You're, you're, you're spraying seconds. acid everywhere. Oh, yeah, 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 we're good. <laughs> All right, so then add how many more of them? Six more. Okay, six more. Well, a different yep. one. Different one. Got it. God, that one doesn't hardly come okay. out. Perfect. Okay. All right. Take Five seconds. One, Bigger two, second. three, four, five. And you wait three minutes for that color. Okay, so this is vertically. This has <laughs> been this has been five minutes. Okay. So this was this was the second one. Ammonia. Yeah. We got pretty much hella ammonia right now. Oh, zero. Or yeah. is that, that's what you want. Definitely, I would say we're, we're between like the the highest one and then the other one. It's like a like a yellowish pea green type looking thing. Okay, so after figuring it out, we're pretty much where you want. It. You want it to be about zero, uh, which is about where we're at. We're between like zero and the next level. So I would say we're we're looking good on that. The, the what was the next one? It was uh, nitrate. A f- nitrate. How's that looking? Boom and that's boom. We're at zero. Yep. Little baby blue action. Wow, we're killing it so far, folks. This one price only needs a couple more minutes. <laughs> Uh, but I mean, so far the pond is te- is it's, it's passing all the tests right now. We're gonna add this stuff. This is pond water conditioner. I think no matter what, it's good to add this even if your pond has all the correct levels of everything. Uh, Why? Even if your pond has all the correct levels, I think this is this is good to add. It's not gonna hurt anything. So um, we've added up. We're thinking the pond is between twenty seven hundred and three thousand gallons. Uh, basically, you do length times width times depth times 7.5 in case you guys are curious um this is when it, it pays off to either stay in school or there's this crazy thing called google that can pretty much answer all your questions um and you didn't need a degree to do that just throwing it out there so we're going to wait for this last test of phosphorate to come back make sure it looks good dump the pond water conditioner in and then we're going to turn on the pump uh we don't have the filter hooked up but we're going to at least turn on the pump to like agitate everything and then we're going fishing you guys stay tuned which one is it it should be that one this one okay so phosphate should be zero in the phosphate pond. should be zero yeah. what are we looking at pretty close it's close maybe really? like 0.25 it's 5, maybe. somewhere in there i mean it's not it's not too bad i think i think i think the uh conditioner is gonna help so we're gonna so what we did is we calculated 2800 divided by 480 times 120 divided by niner is actually two gatorade bottles worth of the top fin stuff so we're gonna load this thing up well uh, two times dump it in the pond turn on the pump and we should be good to go uh, here we go no, don't drink. Don't drink this. Don't. Hey, uh, this sure, isn't Gatorade. Hey. Here we go. Mm. One down. I'm gonna go dump it on the other side. Boom! There you have it, folks. Everything's good. We're gonna toss this pump in, agitate a little bit. Hey, we're going fishing. Shoo! And we made it, folks, to the pond. We are going to be fishing. This is actually Hook and Hogs Pond. Um, I've made some videos here over the last like three, four years. Um, and Hook is like, hey man, we gotta do some fish management at my pond too. We can use my pond to help fish manage your pond that you want to put fish in. So basically, we're here at the pond, and our objective is to keep and take home to put in my pond three to four bass we want good size one we want like you know maybe if we can get up to like three pounders would be good i mean we're probably not going to take any giant keggers out of here but like just some good girthy meaty bass basically any bass that's a little
little bit larger than the average size of bass that's in my pond would be great. Um, and then Bonds is on bluegill duty, so he's gonna be going out for bluegill. So that's what we got rigged up. So right here, that's what I'm gonna be dangling with, the old bladed jig with the saucy swimmer. And then Bonds daddy has got some night crawler <laughs> action. Look at this guy, he's always on bluegill duty, he kills it. Then we've got a bluegill colored little bladed jig. And we've got one cooler here. This is for bluegills. That cooler is going to be for bass. We've got aerators and extension cords and all that stuff ready to rock and roll. What we did is we took the water from the pond that they're going to be in and brought them here. Um, so basically that way, like on the drive home, they can actually get used to the water and get acclimated and stuff. Basically we filled these coolers up with the water from the pond and then we're going to put the fish in that water and then we're going to take them home and then put them into the pond that basically we're going to suck that you guys are going to see. So with that being said, I'm ready to get my dangle on. We're going to be going out there. Bonds is going to be on bluegill duty. Hopefully we can catch some big bluegills. We can catch some big bass and stock the tiny backyard pond. You guys stay tuned. All right, here we go. We are going to be rolling, hooking. Where you, where you, can I start here? Where are you starting? Uh, yeah, you can start here. I'll go down there. Okay, all right. We're going to start in the creek. Bonzo's on bluegill duty. He's going down there and hooking iron pig duty. We need biggins, biggins only. What's wrong with it? Oh, I got one. Oh, I got one. It came off. Oh, God, I had a biggin. Oh, you're kidding me. First cast. Oh God, that was that was a good size too. You're hooked up? No, Hulkin just had a fish too. Dude, I watched that one eat. That was like the perfect three pounder that we wanted. Got, I mean, I got pommeled boys. That was a good one too. Solid three pounder. All right, come on fish, I'm ready now. I was not ready that first cast. That was, that got a little intense for me. My guess is it just grabbed the tail of it. I didn't really get a good, I didn't get a good hook set on it. Oh, dude, he hit it right at my feet. Yep. He's a little skinny. It's about a two pounder. There we go. First fish right there. We're going to keep him, throw him in the, throw him in the cooler. You can probably feed this guy back to good health. I mean, he's pretty skinny. You think they'd crush a frog? Oh my God. Another one right at my feet. There we go. Oh my. That's a big one. Oh yeah. You got one? Yeah, that's a big one. That's a three pounder. There we go. That's a little bit healthier one. All right, fish number two on the bladed jig right there. Oh, I'm in the water. This is comfortable. This is good. That's what you want. Oh, hey, how's it going, folks? I'm wet. I'm soaked. All right, here we go. Made it to the next spot. Hookin's already got two. We need we need bonds to come in clutch with a couple bluegills. And I need to come and clutch with a couple bass. We'll be good. Here we go, folks. Move spots. We are working closer to the dam here. Bonzo's getting to the juice. I'm trying to get to some juice. Hookin's already been on the juice. He's had some fish. There you go. It's pretty shallow over here, but let's see if we can yeet it out that way and see if we can catch something. There we go, folks. We're making we're making a move here. So far, Hookin has landed two chunks. They're probably like two-ish, two and a half-ish pounds. Um, one of them was skinny, but I was like, hey, we're gonna feed this thing. Let's get it back up to girthiness that it, it needs to be. Um, but we moved to the dam. The dam is it's wind blown, which is gonna suck for casting, but it should blow kind of all the microorganisms up there, which the bluegill will follow that, and then the bass will follow the bluegill. So should give Bonzo a chance to catch a bluegill and give Hookin and I a chance to catch some more bass. So that's pretty much an update for you. We, need, we still need to catch some big ones. Here we go, little blade of jig. Going out to the middle of the pond, trying to catch a big old bertha. Oh no, I broke off. No, Hookin, I just broke off a big one. You're kidding me. You're freaking kidding me right now. How'd that break? Rip. So I just broke off and what I noticed was this quality rod I was using has a missing eyelet and that's what it cut on it cut right on that because it's, it's pretty sharp that metal sharp that's why you put those uh, little ceramic eyelets in there so you don't have your line cut but this one apparently fell out and uh my line just that's because that's where it broke it literally broke right here and i was like what how did that just happen it didn't break at the bait it broke right here so if your eyelet pops out folks go fix it or go get a new rod or a new tip or something like that there we go i'm on I'm on. Oh, that might be a good one. Yup. That's the biggest one. Dude, why are they so skinny? They're all so skinny in here. I think they're overpopulated in here. You see all the fish. I mean, this is a, that's a four pound head right there. I mean, that's a solid fish, but 
all these fish are so skinny is because there's so many of them in here so if we're taking some out it's not really gonna hurt the pond at all it's more like it's gonna help it but i mean that's a long guy right there probably 18 inches 19 maybe we're gonna toss them in the cooler well folks i uh i lost a lot of line on that one and i don't want to use this rod anymore this is pretty much the only rod i can use for a bladed jig so i'm gonna go help bonzo try to catch a bluegill and uh see how it goes good job hook daddy yes sir you saved the day i suck yeah. broke off a fish bonzo slayed it just wasn't it just no wasn't bites. meant to be not for the bluegills anyways we're gonna head home because we've got three bass we don't want to keep them too long in the coolers even though we got aerators and all that stuff uh but we just want to make sure they're good so we're gonna take them home and we need to fix the pump because the pump isn't working or the, the, the filter isn't working the, the hose came off we're gonna fix that then put the fish in make sure they stay alive get them acclimated and then we're gonna be feeding them and see what type of i guess if they eat minnows or goldfish whatever we end up getting we're not really sure but anyways see you guys at home Shoo! all right folks we made it down we're back at the house here, and uh, we're gonna go check on the pond, make sure it's still flowing. We put the, we put the, uh, Dale, calm down, Dale. We, yeah, I hear you, sheep. We put the bubbler in it to mix up all the chemicals that you guys saw. Oh, it's working good. This thing is sick also, this this pump, since it's not hooked up to the filter. It basically looks like this. Look at that thing. Like, you could run this thing in the winter, and it would keep this wide open. I mean, it's been circulating this for the last, I mean, however many hours. It's been absolutely ripping. So what we're going to do is before we unload the fish, we need to fix this. Basically, we need to, we got some hose clamps and stuff like that. We need to connect all the pipes together and get those ready to rock and roll. Put it in there, make sure all the filters work, and then unload our three largies. All right, so what do I need? I need this need thing, this and then this, and then and this that. hose. Yeah. Okay, so we got to connect this hose to this thing using a hose clamp, and we, we bought tape too, but I just feel like a hose clamp with that type of hose, just it ain't for it, because it's supposed to be like for like a rubber hose, I yeah. feel like. But I mean- the Instructions told you to do it, but- Did they? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay, so this goes- uh, On that. And then this goes, but this goes in here, right? Yeah. So let's, wait, really? That's how that worked? It didn't go on any more than that? Yeah, and then you just taped it. Oh, no wonder it came off. That makes sense. Because there's nothing to hose clamp to. It's not- If you can't get over that. If you can get over it. Let me try carving an edge out with a knife and see if I can widen her out. Okay, so we probably were just using the wrong one the whole time then. Yeah. Yeah, probably. That's pretty neat. Okay, so now you can use a hose clamp, right? Or not? No, I need to get that on there. We'll see if I, if I connect it. I think it will, because like, yeah, I think I, I think I got this. We got this. Don't you worry. You're never doubting. You're never doubting my plumbing abilities. What up, chick? Why do we have so many damn chickens? Dude, look at them all. Why we have so look at look at all the chickens? Why do we have so many chickens? They're freaking everywhere. They love the pond. They're all about the beach vibes. So that's screwed on fine. You can yeah. I was gonna say. What was that? He was throwing oh, rocks. I just, threw, oh, I just threw a rock in there. What do you think it was? I don't know. Hogan got scared. Okay, Ricky back from the dead. <laughs> that was a mess of <laughs> I have a feeling it ain't doing nothing. Like it seems like there's a lot of space here. That's what I'm saying. Doing Wait, something. It's holding. All right, plumber Rick got her done here. Let's see if it works. Oh God, she's falling. Well, it's a drip. I mean, it's working. See right here, we got our own little fountain, little oxygenation pump, pump to the filter. The filter's leaking perfect, and then it dumps it out right here. Looking good. Time to add the fish. Boom! We got one right here. Let's let's get a let's this get a beef. Is, let me compare these two. Is this Kager? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. See there, you guys. Now you guys get side by side comparison. That one, yeah, that one's probably the biggest. But you see how skinny they are, though. Well, you got here. Know. I'll give you your Kager back. Which one's bigger? That one for sure. 100 percent. 100 percent. Yeah. yeah. Way longer and bigger head. Yeah. But all these guys are nice and skinny. Not well, I shouldn't say nice and skinny. They're skinny, but it's a good thing because they're pretty much all relatively the same size, which you don't want in the same pond is a lot of the same size fish. So we're gonna go ahead and release these guys. Here we go. Like I said, they've already been acclimated to the water that's in here because that's what we use to fill up the uh coolers themselves. Oh, oh, see, he's already oh look, ready? Oh, see you later, dude. Oh God. Straight to the bottom. Straight yeah. to the bottom. Oh, see you later. Well, there you have it, folks. We just stuck three fish. We are gonna go grab some minnows. We're gonna let them sit overnight. They'll be fine. Um, Cause once, if you give them like 12 to 24 hours to just like calm down, get used to everything, get used to their surroundings, then they'll actually eat. I've done this many times down in Texas with the Guggen squad. And like every time we got a fish and relocated it, you would never get it to eat for at least the first day. So see you guys tomorrow. Shoo! All right, folks, it is the next day. We are ready to try to feed some of these fish. Hey, at least our pump stayed working. Hook Daddy came in clutch. He got, he was on goldfish duty. We got like 50 in here. Like, or at least. They said, it's not no, like 100. They said you couldn't fit 50 more in. They'd all die if you put more than 50. Yeah, they, they, they didn't go heavy on the. What in the? What are you doing? Oh, you want some? You want some goldfish? You like, you like the actual goldfish. Like the snack that smiles back goldfish. Not these goldfish. This is a different, different goldfish, Millie. Calm down. Uh, are fish in there still? Or am I blind? Oh, yeah, I know. I see them. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay, they're right there. You guys.
guys can't see them for sure. Um, we're gonna try to feed them. We haven't fed them yet. Obviously, we let them relax all last night. Hey, guess what? Our, our pump and everything is is running, running like it's 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 running. I guess it's it's doing well. So we're gonna go ahead and throw some of these fish in there. I'm not like super optimistic with the whole thing, but I mean it might be all right. I would say just like drop like one right here. See if you can. Could we made this shelf so they could come up and feed so you guys could see them? Because if they stay down there, you guys probably aren't seeing too much. So, oh God. Were those alive? No, they're not moving much. That one's moving. Well, oh, that guy's that guy's swimming. That guy's just yeah. Throw throw a I'll few more. Them. All right, throw eat some in the middle there. Okay. See see what happens there. There we go. Oh oh oh, they're swimming. They're doing fish things. Come on come on oh, oh. come on. Which one? Which one's gonna back, eat? The back bass looked at one. Really? That's all he did though. Oh oh, he's he's eyeing it. He's eyeing it. See him? The back one's swimming. Oh. He's eyeing it. Where's the third bass? Am I blind? Under the cord. Oh okay. Oh oh oh, they're right by it. They're literally right in front of them. Yeah, I know you guys can't see. I don't have a polarizer on here, dude. They're an inch away from the bass. They're gonna get eaten. They've got to get eaten. Oh my gosh, an inch away. Literally touching. Him. He's touching the fish right now. Come on, largemouth. Come on, buddy. Can you tell them apart? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's one big one. The other two kind of look similar, but dude, they're literally laying next to like the fish are laying next to the goldfish. All right, keep throwing some more in there. Maybe we'll get them fired up. Come on. Yeah, they're not like super like swimmy, you know what I mean? Like enough to no. get a reaction strike yeah. out of them. They're just- They gotta be hungry. Oh, 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 that, oh, they're moving. They're moving. What are they doing here? Come on, somebody. Yeah, that back one's the biggest. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, oh you swam over it. Did you, do you not understand that this is food? We tried to get minnows and feeder fish and no, literally nobody had any. So basically this was our only resort. So for, for those guys like, why would you put goldfish? They don't know what a goldfish is. I mean, there's a couple. There's a couple of shiny looking guys. Maybe, we would have got something else. But maybe. Hey, just happen. go ahead and just dump all them in there. Yeah, let's just let's get. Want to save any for your ducks? Oh yeah, we could. Oh, okay, never mind. There's a couple in there. Okay, keep 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 a few. The ducks love the goldfish if these guys don't. So. Oh, dude, they are so he's close. Sniffing he's sniffing it. It's on his snout right now. Well, that was freaking sick. Let's go feed these to the ducks because uh, our bass suck. If you guys have any tips, maybe it just takes more time, more than a day. I mean, I figured within a day they'd be all right. But hey, we brought. Uh, we got some. Bonzo had the idea. Keep keep some goldfish for the duck. We did it with old Quacky Rip, and he loved it. So we're gonna see if uh, see if these guys like minnows and goldfish as well. How's it going, ducks? All right, yep, Millie, you're killing it for us. What do you think the odds are that they're gonna? Oh, I mean, eventually they'll they'll I'll eat it. You want to hand feed one? Yeah. You gonna serenade one? No, that's all hooking. All right, go ahead. I bet if you throw it on the ground, the turkey would peck at it. Give it to the turkeys. See, throw it down. See what they do. Oh, 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 oh come on. Oh, KO it, KO it. KO it. Get him. Let me see it. Let me see it, turkey. Be a savage. Oh, come on. Oh, get it. Come on, literally come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. No. Oh, what? What are you doing, turkey? Turkey. What? What? Are you want to? You want to fight? What are you? What are you doing, Rick? This has been a very disappointing feeding video for you guys. I apologize for that. All right, hooking on clean water duty. So let's clean this guy out real yeah, quick. Give it a splish splash. Give it. Give it a couple more. There we go. All right, now fill it all up. There you go. Clean water for you duckies. You guys don't like us yet, do you? No, I don't know if these ducks will ever less. Some of you guys were commenting, hey, you, you know, you need to hold them more often. The problem is, is like, in order to hold them, you have to like terrorize them, which I feel like that could make it worse. But let's go ahead and just dump some of these goldfish in there. Um, it might take some time. I guess we, we, we can come back later. Probably not in this video, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. I mean, they might not like it. Quacky loved them. Quacky could eat lots of goldfish, so I feel like They'll like it eventually. It might just take some time. But either way, I mean, hey, Millie, hey, hey, I see what you're trying to do. You got to get out the pen. Good girl. Either way, I mean, we attempted to feed the fish. We attempted to feed the turkeys. We attempted to feed the ducks. Nothing wants to eat none of these goldfish. Some stanky goldfish, apparently. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, comment down below. What should we feed those bass to make them grow as quickly as possible? Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and peace. <laughs>